Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we're going to be doing another video. And first off, I'd just like to shout out to my very first subscriber. Um, it is a, quite an honor to post a video and then within the first day someone has a look at it. I mean, thank you very much. So I just want to give a shout out to Age Moak. I'm sorry if I uh, absolutely destroy the name. Uh, Age Moak or Agi Moak. Uh, thanks very much for subscribing. So today we're going to get started on the dwarfs. So guys, we've got the choice between the easy, the very, very hard, forget that it says hard, or normal. Um, I have played as all three of them, and let me tell you, I still can't beat it with uh, Clan Angrand, uh, without capturing eight peaks, which is already a game. That should be the end game. Once you capture that, pat yourself on the back and quit. Don't, don't bother going further. I mean, uh, that, that is quite an achievement. So, we're going to get ahead, and I like Carrick Cajun, only because of the Slayer. It's not the greatest in terms of the heroes, but if you've got a whole squad of Slayers, I mean, you are still going to go bump around in the night. So, I'll get this started, and see you on turn one. Alrighty then, we are sitting on turn one. We've just loaded in, and we've already got a couple of missions again. This is modded Total War 2 Warhammer. So we are currently playing with 53 mods. It gives a bit more all rounding, and this time the mods are more focused on the dwarves and surrounding nations. So for those of you who played original dwarves, look, they're okay, but they definitely needed some help. So the mods doesn't make it too overpowered, but it does give you that edge that's needed. So later on, gyrocopters is going to be a lot better. There's many different variations. So first of all, again, I, I always like to build all my units up. Uh, same as what we did with the Tomb Kings. So we can simply put them in and have a look at that. We've got Slayers already with reduced upkeep. Just take a minute. Take a minute. You've got anti-large. So we're going to go find the Orcs first along with, you know, fast for dwarf. I mean, he is short and stumpy, you know. So we'll get ahead a couple of those. I'll just put them up for a few turns. Now, with your buildings, remember I am playing with a mod that makes your citadels a lot better. So we are already at level 4. Uh, you can change the mod to be level 2, 3, or default, which is just 2. Or you can make it 5 if you feel like it. But um, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and get started on some units, I think. So we do have slayers which are quite costly. And we have the passageway which is from a mod. So once you get a couple of these up, your actual bonuses you get, you'll notice they go up the more underways you have constructed. So when it's at level 5, you have minus 30% for construction. You can have huge growth. You can have very, very reduced recruitment costs. And you can have good untainted. Now, untainted is going to be a bit of a thing because we have the vampire counts just next door. So later on, you won't notice it until it's a bit late. It's going to creep up to you. But uh, we will get started. And I'll see you in a couple of turns. Moving into turn 5. Um, I haven't done too much. Just been upgrading the buildings getting plenty of gold, making the elf gold, we we'll get a bit more growth, getting some public order, and you'll notice even with the plus five, we're still at three, just because of taxes. Um, the dwarves don't like it, so that's that's oh just I a thing. So kid. moving in, we're going to start taking over the orcs, because again, having yes. slayers, we are really going to go for anything that's anti-large, and we're just going to take over this region. So we're going to get Grashak's Lair, Kazidu Kurlis. Moving in, we'll take Karak Raziak and we'll fix up this whole area for ourselves. Now another mod I just wanted to show you is the Underway. This takes a little thing from the Lizard Men and uses the Geomatic Layout to give you bonuses. So remember how I was showing you, you've got this uh, four levels that we can have. Depending on how many of these you have, 
it's the exact same as a lizard mint. So if you're getting green or light green, you're getting some really sweet bonuses. However, you know, the lower levels, don't worry too much about it. Uh, we've got another mod that allows you to do horde building. It does not work for the orcs, but it does give bonuses. So I've left it in there. And again, as per mentioning, down the, in the comments list, I've got the mods list currently being used that's focused for dwarves. I've got a little bit of uh, tips and tricks in there. And as always, if you haven't subscribed already, thanks for subscribing. Now, let's have a look. We're not making too much money raiding, so I think I'm just going to go and attack him. We are going to really have a look at this. Again, remember the slayers are very anti-large. Keeping in mind these are just goblins, so it wasn't really much of a challenge anyway. Uh, I like to take the leadership. You know, casualty replenishment, not that it's a big thing if you get negative, but it every bit helps. So I will go and sit in ambush. Let's upgrade our hero. And as you'll notice, we have new skills. Earthbound gauntlets, you know. We're getting bodyguards, so we can have giant slayers, dragonback slayers. Now, keep in mind it says 5 and uh, really changes your health. It doesn't actually do that. When you, when you have your unit, he will still have his health, but his actual cronies will add 5 health to it, if I got that correct. I have tested it, it is a lot better. So, we might, let's have a look here, better base damage or armor piercing. I might take the armor piercing. That's, that's just going to be a thing. And we're going to be fighting the green skin, so let's get the bonuses. Now let's have a look what our other hero has for us. I will get cleanse corruption. Now you'll notice there's a skill dump thing here. Um, with the other teams, they have more skills to select or to use. Whether or not they're good is one thing. However, the revamped skills that we're using, it wasn't very law friendly to give the dwarfs, you know, all of them spells or different levels to things. So they've simply put a skill dump so you don't have to sit with like plus 12 and then figure out what to do with it. So we'll skip in a couple of turns. Right after we Onward. take this guy out. So again, I am playing with a mod that makes turns go faster. As you'll notice, we're almost done already. This really makes the game a bit more streamlined. Uh, I did decide yesterday, after my first subscriber, to go and test it without mods. I don't think I can go back. I'll be honest with you, the mods really improves the game. Not that there was anything wrong with the original, it's just refinement. So, with this balance of power, we're not really going to lose too many. You'll notice our Dragon Slayers really took to the field. But our Miners and our Dwarf Warriors, they are only Tier 1 units. So that was a good expectation. We'll take this over. Get ourselves some better rewards. And get Oath Gold. Now, I will show you something if you haven't noticed it already. We have upgrades. So we can choose using Oath Gold. It does say scrap if you don't have enough. The mod maker has said in his next update he will fix it up for us. So we can have better weapon strength, you know, perfect vigor. We can have immune to psychology, which is already, you know, enough said. We can have better base damage or speed. So it just depends on your playstyle. But you'll notice. Ring of Cleaving and Fury is 50, and there's a reason to it. Psychology, if you're not scared, you know, that's a big bonus. You guys aren't going to run away. But I might take the Dragon Slaying, just because I want a bit more Oath Gold. I've went a little bit further into turn 13 from 6, just because a whole not a lot was happening. Um, our upkeep is getting up there, so it does take a bit more turns to get anywhere. But as you can see, I went for Giant Slayers and Untainted. This is going to save us in the long run. I've moved in to get a bit more public order, start getting some beers, you know, keep the dwarves happy. And all our next Slayers, you'll notice, they all rank 2. So that's going to be a little bit helpful. 
and let's go see if we can take Three this guy on. I think we're going to be able to. <coughs> yeah, look at that. Looks okay. Character so I'm going to encircle attacks. him. Let him get out of the walls, which will give me a bit more of a bonus. Now, I was hoping this guy was going to attack me, but unfortunately he decided to buy his time. Which is fine, we can, we can always wait a turn or so. Um, I'm going to go get myself some more Cinnabar, and let's see what the diplomacy is doing for us. So Here we go, look at this, Ostermark, welcome, the Empire. Ancient allies. Uh, In don't want military access, because that means they can come over my yes. land. So we might see if we can get the other dwarves to join us. No, okay. We we're, we're gonna do it alone. That's that's fine. Doing it alone's fine. If you can get the diplomacy, just get non aggressions and then leave it for a couple of turns so you don't get a negative reputation. Otherwise no one else is gonna give you things or they'll cut your, you know, treaties. Not the most ideal thing. Now one other thing I wanted to mention this round is the forge. This comes from a mod that allows you to buy stuff using earth gold. So aside from being able to upgrade your units, you can use it as well to buy things that will give you fairly good um, bonuses. I mean I bought one that gave me Stork and Strider, so that was quite nice. Yeah, I might give myself the Talisman next, which will give me magical attacks. Gotta go find some golden idols, which is not looking good. I decided I wasn't going to wait around. We've been here for two turns already, and I just figured, you know what, we'll take a bit of losses. And it was a bit worse than I expected. Losing a Slayer's Mob, um, not ideal, but, you know, they did carry the team 280, 290, you know, high 200s for all of them. And you can see our normal units. 50s, 70s, not the greatest, but again, we managed to conquer the province, which is what I want. So now, we will get our very nice bonus, and I'm going to do construction costs. So it might sound a bit crazy, but you'll understand why later. So I'm going to get myself some more income, I think. I haven't decided between more income or more growth. Always tough choices. I'll go for income. The slayer I've got a thousand bucks. Dead. Let's see, we can get two slayers or a giant slayer. Or we can get one of each. Oh, that works as well. Now, you can notice we get more oath gold because of our skills have changed. This is again from the one mod. We have a skill dump, which again, as I mentioned previously, it's pointless to just give them anything that's not law focused. So that's not bad. Oh hey, we've got I more points. Helps the game two levels. Rune of Wrath and Ruin. Minus speed and charge. I like it. So one other mod we have is better replenishment for dwarves. In the original, dwarves for some reason, I'm not sure seem to be very handicapped. They had 3%. There is a mod on here that just takes it from 3 to 8%, which is in line with most of the other teams, anywhere between 6 and 10, except for Skaven, which have ridiculous numbers. You know, that's, that's just it's uncanny. Giant. And again, it's a team I can never win with. Oh, I can't wait to have Regiment Renown. I'll tell you that. I went ahead and skipped a few more turns and started upgrading my units. You'll notice we got Rune of Fury on these bad boys. I've put uh, Flaming Attacks on my Slayers. And then going for my Thunderers and Quarrelers. Again, I can't build them just yet. I've decided to give them some more armor and resistance. Yeah, it's pointless the if they die. I can't replace them. And, you know, that is our only ranged units in this squad as well. So this is our first big challenge. And you'll notice these are the... Wait, ah, here we go. There's the trolls. These guys are really going to spank us. So we're going to make sure you know, we take our time, do this a bit properly and concisely. So it might take us two, three turns to uh, actually do this. 
if they attack us first, that'll be more beneficial. So like his little army is coming down this way. If he comes for us, that'll be heaps better. But again, you know, that's that's fine. I went ahead and put my barracks here, just because your carrot cadron only has eight slots. So you're wasting it with buildings that can only be achieved at level three when you want them at level four. I didn't bother putting it in my main base. I know, crazy talk. I'm building it late game. But there, there's Method to Madness. You don't want to put your thing in Karakadrin when it only has three upgrades. That's pointless. There's plenty of other buildings that you will need later on. So we are going to get rid of some of these later. But for now, I just leave it here. And then we'll get another one of our buildings as soon as we have enough money to do this, which will be in a couple of turns because my upkeep is a ridiculous. Uh, let's see how many turns we have. we still got three turns to go and attack this guy. We'll give it a couple of turns and I will see you shortly. We ended up having to break that siege. When his main hero came, the balance of powers really skewed in his favor. And like I mentioned with the Tomb Kings, if you lose your first mob, it's it will take you too, wait, far too long to actually recover. So I'm just going to do a bit of raiding, see if I can bait him to Not attack moving. me. So we might also take out this guy one. called Marsha. Let's see one if we can get this done. So I'll get my guy, wound him. Okay, not the highest chance. And what are we worrying about? We took him out. That's what we want. And on that note, let's actually upgrade him to get a better go. We'll put him back into our unit and let's see how this goes. Now I can't I can't keep stressing, look how fast the turns are going. Imagine if you played the original game without this mod for faster end turn camera, you would just be your favor. Oh no, we've got some negative growth happening. Not that it's an issue, we have 56 growth so it's not you know, mission critical if that doesn't go ahead. We'll put this map back in. And let's see. Yeah, okay, it looks like he's taking the bait. So we'll move a bit more this way so we don't get his main base attacking us as well. Now I might get myself route marcher and full armor. And let's wait another turn. That's not bad income. 386. Can't complain. Greetings, oh, hello. Aye. What can I do for you? No, I don't want to give him access because again, he's just going to walk over to my other side and that's not ideal. I'd like to go over that way. So we'll just leave him be. It's not going to hurt us too what? much. And where did that hero go? Ah, okay. He's using the underway. Very well. This so that's fine. Work. We will go back to our base and we'll take this guy on. Bye. So I finished my other research. I'm just going to keep getting income, income, income. Oh. And let's have a look. Yes, I can catch this bloke. So I don't think he's going to run away. So we should be able to clock him. Ah. Weak oh, source. Weak source, that's all I have to say. Just take it like a man. We'll get him. We'll get him next round. I promise. He's not going to get away from us because he's giving us, unfortunately. Oh, look at that! We already had three damn grudges. That's that's fine. We we okay. We okay. You'll notice we got him in the underway. No, he's got. He can't run. He can't hide, he's going to lose. And again, just look at the balance of power. We're not going to lose a whole lot of units. And I'm putting money that this fella over here is going to carry the team. No, okay. Surprisingly not, it was his buddy next door. Uh, we didn't lose too many, which is quite good. Uh, but he lost everything. So, that, again, that's quite nice. I might go for casualties 
the decrease in replenishment rate just because I need the money it's not the best I don't recommend it if you if you can but we've got nothing to lose we're all the way at Nashrak's lair again so let's get rid of these oh thank you very much I will take that upkeep that's quite nice let's make sure we got it equipped bang so next turn we're gonna save 20% of 146 that's that's quite a couple of pennies ah, we can get the earthbound gauntlets unkillable there you go that's what we want we'll get some more armor we'll get some more runes for defense and charge and that's about all we can do so I could upgrade this but Maybe not. I was thinking for something with untainted, but that's another building. And you'll notice this gives us one set of miners. Not not the greatest thing in the world, you know. We we might end up just taking this. We ended up on turn 24, and uh, I decided to attack this guy. And while I wasn't paying attention, I accidentally clicked battle. And I'm telling you, I was almost unhappy. I thought I'd have to create a new game. But luckily we ended up winning. Um, we did take quite a serious amount of losses thanks to his orc biggins, which uh, really didn't help us out along with his boar boys. Uh, but it, it was okay. So at least we got the settlement. There'll be nothing left on there. We can uh, take this one out as soon as this is finished and we'll reclaim another region so let's quickly just give him some resistance and some melee attack and you'll notice there's nothing there because we killed everything before it's just some of the heroes that's left and we need the tower so that's fine one more turn you'll notice we're getting two thousand because our army upkeep dropped dramatically for reasons that we found out which was quite unfortunate but that's okay you know you, you win some you lose some and then you lose some more so we'll just give this one more turn so we can get the tower and keep in mind later on we will get some end game units where we won't even need to bother about the towers anymore for now, one, two turns is fine. But once we get the towers, we will just simply walk in, which is probably going to be around turn 40. Uh, I'm a bit slower than normal, but turn 40 is still quite early in the game. And as you can see, we probably only lost 25 guys. And he lost 6 out of 6. That's Skulk Crack Tooth. Took out 8 units. What a machine. But at least we have the grudge removed. We get our oath gold. Some public order. That was nice. Ah, Karak Raziak. Okay, that's fine. Yes. It'll only be a couple of turns before we get that. So, we'll get one and one. Do I want a cannon? Yeah, might as well. Yeah, and we can get thunders as well. Okay, that's that's cool. So let's just do that thing. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay, so three turns, which should give us a full army again, which is quite nice. So I'm going to do my upgrades. I won't worry about the ancestral grudge because we're not going to fight the orcs forever. So I'll just leave that. And then we'll just get some more runes going. We wound up on turn 34. We got a couple of thing, interesting things happening. You'll notice Azhag the Slaughterer, lovely name mate, he's decided to use the underway to try and take back Red, Mount, Red Eye Mountain. It's not going to work out for him. We've got our upgraded units. 
You notice we've got some bolt throwers, we've got grudge throwers, we've got cannons, and a lot of missile infantry. So this is going to make life a lot easier for us. I did go ahead and put stalk and snipe, just so that they don't want to attack them. And along with sniping gives them bonus accuracy. So it's going to be really nice for us. I have on my main base, my main area, I've went ahead and put the ranger barracks. So the next time we come here, we're going to get even more units. Now I avoided upgrading my stronghold, just because there's enough buildings for me to do here to keep me busy for quite a while. And along with that, look at our garrison. This is this is a good amount of units. If he c comes to, to try and take this, it's not going to work out well for him. Rogue. I tried to take this army out the previous turn, but he kept yes, running away. I hope he doesn't do this for the next 10 turns. Look at this, there, there he runs again, and he's just out of view again. Then he'll go down to Nagenhof and come back up. Down to Nagenhof, come back up. Really My annoying. I just want to take him out. Uh, I don't mind the raiding. But I gotta say, I just rather get rid of him. Um, for this base, I figured we can go up till here. We're not really gonna worry about gyrocopters or the fire throwers just yet, which is a couple of modded units. But we could use the runesmiths. So I am feeling to go in that direction. Uh, we will build another one of these later, simply because the rune forge global recruitment capacity you know it's we, we just got to go there so for now I'll just keep going keep getting the public order keep getting the beer cakes we are making a fair bit more money from trade I have to say I'm not getting a lot of luck this time round um, we're on turn 37 and again when I wasn't paying attention he decided to attack me and I figured, you know what, we've got a lot better units. I don't see what the problem is in uh, actually attacking this guy. Along with all my banners, which, you know, they give us quite a bit of bonus. And I still lost my slayers. I don't understand. We are anti-large. We are, we are big and impressive, you know, with our cannons and our quarrelers. And I still lost a stack of them. And they were rank 4. I mean, my heart goes out to them. But at least we finished the area, which is a consolation prize for me. I, I hate losing units, if we're honest with everyone. I don't like to be that guy that walks away the battle with only one man standing. Your prestige uh, grows, my lord. And look at this. Eh? News of your 2,000 plus 4,000. Your developing nice. power. I like it. By even the most distant of so the next one is occupied loot, yours. raise or sack eight settlements, which is very easy. We're just going to go down south, go down here, and we'll just go crazy. So not going to be a big issue. Uh, let's see what we can do. We have a fair bit of money, but this place is in the middle of nowhere, so I might do the upgrades for units, I think. Then we can get some public order. Uh, I already got it over there. So we'll get this one, which gives it more earth gold. And I might put this, I think. Yes. Now let's see what we can do here. Can only have miners. Okay. And our hero gives us nine, but in two turns, you know, this area is going to be pretty Maybe. sorted. So I'm going to go and move him back using the underworld. Very well. This may work. And look at Onward that. I can go straight to the home base because of the underway. Gotta say, it's pretty nice. Now, in this area, I am feeling construction. I think that's going to be a winner. I like construction. I like building stuff. Let's let's face it. If you're not building something, you're not doing anything. So we have a quest issued to move it to Zifbar, which 
Will you join me? Oh, come Men on, of buddy. the Empire. Hey. Trade agreement. We're gonna get 185, he's gonna get 72. I can I can live with that. That's nice. We'll quickly let this finish and then see what our mission is. Which is to go to Zifbar. Where is Zifbar? Move a character. So all we have to do is move him there. Which is fine. We need to upgrade and replace our poor hard working slayers. What is this? Dwarf Brew House. Hmm. I have not seen this unit. Magical Aura, Unbreakable, and Can't Move. Well, okay. Um, I think we'll do that. Seeing as they're super expensive, they must be pretty good. Uh, we might not get some Quarrelers again. Um, I might go have a look at some Rangers or something a little bit different. Because these guys are not bad, but they only got 22 ammunition. Which, okay, that's that's a lot apparently, I'm sorry. Sorry for looking. We might get ourselves some long beards. Now the old grumblers, I'll just pin this if you want to actually see what your unit does or to even do comparisons. You can have a look. Grumblers, they give bonus leadership to units nearby. So I might just take one of each. Ah, we're trying out this brew house. Which is which is also fine. Guys, we are in turn 41. We have more money than common sense, which is surprising because just 10 turns ago we did not know where to get money from. Uh, we are getting quite a bit from trade. Our taxes is going quite well. You know, every province is giving us 1,800. You know, it's it's uh, quite going good for us, and our upkeep is uh, very low as well. Yes. So each unit, our slayers originally, if you can remember, they were 143. Now they're only 101. You know, same with these guys. These guys were 168, I believe. Now only 135. So again, it is working quite well for us. And you'll notice this brew house. I have built it. Um, we're going to give it a test run because we have nothing left to do up here. Everything is built. I'm just waiting for population points we are going to go and harass the vampires and move our way to Zufbar which again this guy for the life of me just never wants to do any diplomacy I'm not quite sure why I mean I thought the empire was just going to be difficult but as it turns out you know, I, I always seem to stand corrected but that's not a bad thing so we're going to declare some war we are ooh, that that was not good. We are strength rank 25. He's rank 8. So I think I'm going to reconsider and go back. This this was not good. Um, mistakes were made, people. Guys, we ended up on turn 49, I believe it is. I went to go and try to Zufbar through the vampire counts as you can see and this ended up being a ridiculous battle of epic proportions I mean we barely made it out with our butts he, he almost took it with him um, you'll notice some of our heroes really went crazy having 300 kills this dwarf brew house it didn't really do anything but it is only a support unit um, we had all our quarrelers and rangers just die along with most of our, our ranged units actually which is surprising because all our melee units actually survived but because he had Johan van Zerden with him I mean his, his grave guard were absolutely terrible we are moving into the final stages of this video and let me tell you the last 20 something turns have been miserable it's not been good mistakes were made it uh, all, all I can say is mistakes were made we ended up having to invade the entire southern section 
where the vampire counts were. And let me tell you, losses. Just, I don't want to talk about it. I've lost too many friends today. It was, it was just, it was just not good. You can even hear from my tone of voice, I was shattered. We've had uh, quite a number of these guys, Ken Rats, and if I can find it, Black Knights, except they've got great weapons. We are terrible against them. I had to literally get about three stacks against one and a half, and I still almost lost. So I just decided to, to turn away, and eventually when I managed to take Waldenhof and Eschen, I looted him. And let me tell you how much oath gold and money I got. I decided, yeah, okay, I'm going to go get myself another couple of heroes. So I upgraded every unit I have. Literally, base weapon damage, you know, restore hit points. It didn't help. He's, all his heroes did was come in, wound one or two of my guys, and then there goes my heroes. And they're impossible to kill as well. I mean, ridiculously hard. Oh, chance of success is too low. Look at that. <laughs> what do you do against that? I wonder if we can increase this and see if that is... Oh, wow, look at... It's just not good. So, I'm just going to have to end up keep going. I can't stop now. So, we're going to run out of money soon. Uh, which is not going to be ideal, but again, if I lose a couple of unit stacks, I'll be better off. Um, this guy in the middle, he he's only had one place. This Count Manfred and his team, they, they took over the whole, this whole area, literally. From Kragmir, they almost took over Zufbar, and that's saying something. Then they went along and they started heading down this way which was starting to get a bit bad news because these are my allies or were then they decided to declare war against me at one turn um, so I'm quite at a point where we can successfully start conquering without stopping uh, we've got one two three four stacks of units I have my hero sitting at about level 38 which is ridiculous that's how much we were fighting it was it was insane I, I would walk away with battles with one guy left and then I'd have to go sit in a corner and just reevaluate life decisions um, but we got there we got there so the dwarves are worth it um, I'll check with some of the mods. To have this much Earth Gold is maybe a glitch or something like that. So we might revisit this at one point. But you can see I spent so long upgrading, all my places are maxed out. What do we what do we do? I don't get any more growth, which is if you didn't know this, to have zero growth means you can't grow anymore. It's pointless getting any more population surplus. Uh, and that includes getting an extra level. So I've been here forever. It's been hours of pain. But if I can teach you anything, if you're playing the dwarfs, do not take these guys on. Go north. Make friends with the vampires. That's all I can tell you. If you if you want to punish yourself, if you're feeling masochistic, take them on early. I took them on around turn 56. Uh, since then, I have been punishing myself and I cannot stop. So his heroes are going to slowly work away at my guys unless I go take over. I think he's only got one hold left. So once I take this hold, it might take me a couple of turns, you know, just to get this unit stack back on track. Then we are sorted. So guys, as with the Tomb Kings, I think we'll leave it there. Um, we did end up doing a bit more overkill than I expected. So as always, if you have subscribed, thanks very much. And if you haven't, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time on the next video. Thanks for watching.